Breaking news, we now have a different perspective on what led up to a confrontation between a man and a woman at the Washtenaw County Sheriff's Office early Tuesday morning. Shatina Grady was punched as she was taken into custody at the scene of a shooting when her husband Daniel stepped in and was tased. 7 Action News reporter Jim Kurtzner is live outside the Sheriff's Office where the Sheriff played body cam video of that incident. So Jim, what does that video show? Shows us a lot. It's 45 minutes of body cam and cruiser video from the start of a shooting, the search for a shooter, as well as all the way to the jail when Shanita, Shatina, rather, Grady was taken into custody, the woman who was punched. The sheriff says this is at the center of three investigations out of his hands. I just want to make sure that we're really clear in terms of what our intent is. We're not deciding right or wrong in any of this. There are cases pending, criminal cases pending. The sheriff says he wants to maintain trust with the community and is showing what went down just after midnight Tuesday morning. Officers were called to a fight and a shooting found a female with a non-life threatening wound in her back. It might hurt, but I'm just putting pressure on it, okay? Oh, oh, I know, I know, I know. The victim gave a description of the shooter she says was inside a house. The deputies surrounded. Then people showed up. They were told to get back. You need to back up now. The video that has gone viral shows Shatina Grady being hit while taken into custody. Body cam video shows how a deputy was bitten during that confrontation. And the woman has heard saying she will do it again. So he said it again, she's biting me. The sheriff says punching is not off the table as an option during a confrontation. We do not have it written that you can never punch. It might have only been two people that put their hands on me, but, 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 but they're responsible for each other. Now, as she spoke here at a peaceful protest this afternoon, she and her husband could be charged in this case. She was in jail but released this morning because of COVID-19. She also faces resisting arrest charges in Taylor and Canton. The investigation into the deputy, the sheriff says, is being handled by the Michigan Sheriff's Association, and the findings will be turned over to Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel for a final determination. If you want to see all of the body cam video and police cruiser video that the sheriff released. He put it on his website, WashtenawSheriff.org. Reporting live in Ypsilanti Township, Jim Kurtzner, 7 Action News. All right, Jim, thank you so much.